So uh, when I was about 14, I applied that uh, cynicism to my uh, religious education and worked out reasonably quickly that uh, there was somebody making this stuff up in great big swaths. Uh, and so we're best not, that's fine. Anybody can believe anything they want. I'm all in favor of that. However, let's not make any laws uh, using them as bases, uh, because otherwise we end up with people like George Pell in charge, and look where that's gone. So this song is called The George Pell Song, and uh, I had to come up with a tune for it a couple of years ago. Uh, Gene Wilder had just died, so I was thinking of uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And so I chose this tune, uh, which is lovely, I think. And uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, uh, there is a Catholic thing called transubstantiation. Who's heard of that? Yeah. Yeah. It is a magic trick they perform. On the altar, during the mass, they turn the wafer, uh, the body, the bread and the wine, they turn into the body and blood of Christ. That's what they say. They say it's not a metaphor. They say it actually turns into the body and blood of Christ on the altar right there. So, it occurred to me that if you had that level of magic spell available, it's about a seventh level cleric spell for any Dungeons and Dragons players, <laughs> then you can change one thing into another. Excellent. They obviously use that much more often than just for the Sundays. So, here we go. The uh, George Bell oh, song. Wafer, turn it into flesh. What a clever way to keep your fresh meat fresh. The Vatican can. <laughs> Who can take a Sunday mass for me and you? Turn us into drones and ritual cannibals too. The Vatican can. The Vatican can because they turn the wine to blood and make the Lord taste good. <laughs> Who can turn a rapist back into a priest? Move him to a parish where he's known the least. The Vatican can. Who can shred the records, pulp them till they're gone? Maybe that's where they get the wafers from. The Vatican can. The Vatican can because they think they speak for God and they can just do good. Who can take a bishop? The one who hid the priest Turn the smug old son into a cardinal At least the Vatican can Who can take that cardinal Bushy and bright-eyed Make him very sick to he's too ill to fly The Vatican can The Vatican can because apparently you lie If it will do you good The Vatican makes everything it fakes Sanctifying and mysterious but maybe if we shout they'll hear us Time for them to get more serious Who can get policemen To make the charges gone And still convince millions they go right from wrong The Vatican can Who can turn their doubt Into moral certainty That would seem to be the greatest magic trick to me The Vatican can Vatican can because you don't need doubt if you've infallibility. The Vatican makes everything it fakes, lies that are divinely lit up, but it shouldn't make you gasp or sit up. Their job was always making shit up. <laughs> Who can take a wafer, turn it into flesh? What a clever way to keep your fresh meat fresh. The Vatican can. The Vatican can because they turn the wine to blood and make the Lord taste good. The Vatican can because they turn the wine to blood and make the Lord taste good. Yep, you can imagine the whistle.